Ah, the sweet sight of a dog eagerly rolling onto its back. Tiny tail wagging, eyes gleaming with anticipation. It's like they're saying, all right, human, hop on for the grand tummy tickle fest. And as those adorable puppy eyes lock onto yours, who are you to resist? Whether you're a dog owner, a passerby in the park, or the unsuspecting victim of a dog surprise belly expose at a family gathering, you've likely given in to the joy of a belly rub session. And really, who can blame you? That soft fur, the occasional leg kick of approval, the intermittent satisfied grunts. It's a universally cherished ritual. But have you ever pondered, mid-rub, what makes this so delightful? Why do our furry friends find this simple act so exhilarating? We're about to figure out why dogs are so into this. Trust me, there's more to it than just them loving a good tummy scratch. So, ready to dive into why dogs go wild for belly rubs? Stay with me, and by the end, you'll get the whole scoop on this doggy delight. Now, if you thought dogs just like belly rubs because it felt good, well, you're only partially right. You see, dogs are creatures of instinct, and these instincts drive many of their behaviors, including the love for belly rubs. First off, let's debunk a myth. Some folks believe dogs adore belly rubs solely because their bellies are sensitive. While it's true a dog's belly is a sensitive area, it's not the only reason they roll over, tail wagging, inviting you in for a good scratch. Belly rubs in the animal kingdom go way back. It's a bonding gesture, one that fosters trust and connection. Wolves, the wild ancestors of our domesticated pals, use similar physical contacts to strengthen ties within the pack. By offering their belly for a rub, your dog is connecting with you on a primal, instinctual level. And here's a fun tidbit for you. Belly rubs can actually trigger a sense of comfort in dogs. When you scratch your dog's belly, it can stimulate nerves that release endorphins. Those are the feel-good chemicals. It's like a natural high for your dog, a sensation of pure joy. But here's a piece of history for you. Long ago, before dogs were our coziest pals, early canines had a life in the wild, and it wasn't always about belly rubs. Back then, one dog showing its belly to another was a sign of peace, a white flag, if you will. No fight today, buddy. Fast forward to the present, and this instinctual signal for peace has evolved into a signal for, well, snuggles. <laughs> so the next time you find yourself giving your furry friend a belly rub, know that you're tapping into ancient canine instincts, building trust, and quite literally, making your dog's day. All right, let's dive deeper into the realm of belly rubs. When your furry friend flops onto their back, presenting that oh-so-rubbable belly, it's not just about that immediate rush of endorphins. It's a gesture steeped in vulnerability and trust. Now, a common misconception? Many believe when a dog exposes its belly, it's always signaling submission. But hang on to your leashes, because this isn't entirely true. Yes, in the world of wolves, showing the belly can indicate submission. But in our modern day pup's world, it's more than just pack dynamics. Exposing the belly, one of the most vulnerable parts of a dog's body, is a signal of immense trust. Your pet is essentially saying, I trust you with my life. It's a grand gesture, akin to humans sharing deep secrets with a trusted friend. But there's also a playful side to it. Dogs might roll over during play as an invitation to frolic. It's their way of saying, hey, let's keep the fun rolling. And while we're on the subject of trust, let's shine a light on some research. Studies have found that dogs who enjoy regular positive interactions, like belly rubs and play with their human companions, tend to be more confident and exhibit fewer signs of anxiety. So, by engaging in this belly rub ritual, you're not only strengthening your bond, but also boistering your pet's emotional well-being. Now, as we edge closer to the heart of belly rub love, remember, every scratch, pat, and rub goes far beyond the surface. And as for what's next, we're about to uncover the secrets of canine anatomy and those euphoric zones that make belly rubs absolutely irresistible. And speaking of uniqueness, ever noticed how breeds with plush undercoats, think huskies or fluffy samoids, seem extra eager for those belly rubs? Well, apart from the sheer joy, it also helps them aerate their fur, especially when the sun's blazing. 
Ever tickled someone just to watch them squirm with laughter? <laughs> well, our four-legged pals have their own ticklish spots. And trust me, they're not shy about flaunting them. But before imagining a dog and fits of giggles, let's dig into the science behind it. Contrary to the popular myth that dogs simply love belly rubs for the sheer physical pleasure of it, there's a bit more going on beneath that furry exterior. Their anatomy is quite the marvel. Packed within that soft belly are clusters of nerve endings. And when stimulated, oh boy, it's like a mini fireworks display of joy for Fido. Now, remember the spine-tingling sensation you get when someone plays with your hair or gives you a back scratch? That's because of something called endorphins, our body's natural feel-good chemicals. Dogs experience something similar when we hit those euphoric zones on their belly. The gentle pressure and motion of a belly rub can release endorphins, which act as natural painkillers and mood boosters. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Ever noticed that after a few moments of belly rubbing, some dogs seem to drift into a trance-like state, their leg kicking out uncontrollably? This reaction, often termed the scratch reflex, is another testament to those sensitive areas on a dog's belly. As we venture further into this world of wiggles and woofs, let's not forget, while a good chunk of pups goes bananas for a tummy tickle, there's more to this gesture than just physical delight. Curious about how belly rubs bridge the gap between fur and feelings? Keep those ears perked, because our next chapter is bound to tug at your heartstrings. If there's one thing that's clear by now, it's that belly rubs aren't just about giving our pooches a pleasant sensation. It's much more profound than that, tapping into an emotional reservoir between us and our fur buddies. So you might be thinking, my dog just loves that feeling, right? While that's partly true, there's a depth to their belly rub euphoria that goes beyond the skin. Remember those happy moments when you shared a treat with your dog or took them for a fun day out? Those moments are stored in their little doggy brains. Over time, the positivity associated with your actions, like belly rubs, gets intertwined with these happy memories. The act of belly rubbing becomes an emotional trigger, reminding them of all the love and joy you brought into their lives. Now, you've probably seen dogs approaching strangers, flip onto their backs and beg for belly rubs. While the sensation is universally loved, there's no denying that the emotional depth they share with you, their favorite human, is unparalleled. When you rub your dog's belly, you're not just giving them a massage, you're reinforcing the bond, reiterating that unspoken promise of love and trust. But hang on, if it's all about love and trust, why do some dogs not like belly rubs? Or why do some prefer them only from specific people? The nuances are vast, and understanding them requires a keen eye for canine body language. But no worries, our next segment of the video will guide you on how to read those furry signals like a pro. Every great love story has its moments of understanding, mutual respect, and consent. The saga of belly rubs and dogs is no different. Just because your dog displays that tempting expanse of fluffy belly doesn't always mean they're sending out an open invitation for a rub-a-dub session. <laughs> First off, let's address a common misconception. A dog rolling over isn't always a green light for a belly rub. For some dogs, it can be a sign of submission or even anxiety. It's like them saying, hey, I mean you no harm, or you're the boss. So how do you tell the difference? Watch for those body language cues. A dog that genuinely wants a belly rub will often have relaxed ears, a wagging tail, and a calm demeanor. On the flip side, a dog displaying its belly but looking tense, with its tail tucked or eyes darting, might be signaling submission rather than desire. Your role as a loving human is to be discerning. Understand that not every belly exposure is a plea for touch. And for the love of all things furry, if a dog doesn't know you well, always approach cautiously. Not all dogs are comfortable with strangers diving into their personal space, no matter how cuddly they might seem. And remember, each dog is an individual. While Fido might be an all-day, any-day belly rub enthusiast, Bella might reserve her tummy time for special occasions or select members of her human fan club. The world of belly rubs is filled with joy, trust, and mutual affection. 
It's also layered with nuances. By paying attention and respecting boundaries, you ensure that every belly rub session is a memorable and positive experience for both you and your canine companion. And isn't that what it's all about? Strengthening that incredible bond of love and understanding, one gentle rub at a time.